Well, topic of this message here is all about, uh, uh, I don't, you know, here's the thing that I'm noticing about people living their life um, in this world system. Uh, you know, people, according to this system of this world, that, you know, you accumulated amount of money and you bought something. And according to what you buy in this system, it's an ideal that you own it, you know, concerning the world system. That you bought this house, you bought this car, you bought clothes, you bought this, you bought that. And according to this world system, it says it's, it means that you own this, what you have. And a lot of people believe that. And in a sense, that's correct concerning the world system. Now, God's system, if you believe in God, um, doesn't work that way. Because the topic of this message is talking about creation rules. Yeah, creation or more likely, no, sorry, creator rules. There's creator rules, you know. See, the creator, or more likely who created it, pretty much owns it. You know what I'm saying? And what people are not understanding about their, their idea of creating things, you know, taking materials from the uh, earth that they did not create is this technically, well, this ignorance, you know what I'm saying? This ignorance that uh, this world system is operating in. And because, of course, Satan got the system to have people magnifying men and magnifying men's accomplishments and magnifying men's system reality of how they want to see uh, or how they want to live life. They want to live life saying that they own this and they own this and they not only own this, but they run this and they can run things the way that they want to run it based upon, yes, what John says, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. And of course, not a good thing to do concerning of understanding that there is a creator that has already established laws and rules concerning uh, this world. And, and, and technically, he owns the world. You know, but the creation, you know, was given... Uh, uh, it was given um, a, a dominion concerning responsibility. Not they, the dominion wasn't given because it's theirs. You know what I'm saying? No, they were given a dominion based upon responsibility of taking care of the creator's creation. I repeat, of taking care of the creator's creation. And that's what pretty much uh, Paul pretty much is talking about in Romans 1 about the idea of the creator uh, reality concerning humanity about their role of responsibility of creation that we need to uphold if we want thing, if we want things to be right in our life and right things to function and continually to go on and on and on, if we want things right in our life, we have to follow these basic guidelines. These basic guidelines. But, oh, they're not going to be basics when people has, of course, believed in the lies of Satan to, and believe in the lust of the flesh and to believe in things that they want to believe in that is contrary to the laws of creation um, it's 
is when you want to believe that way, things are going to get bad as it is getting in this world says world right now that if you're not going to believe these rules that you know you you're going to continue a pattern in a bad pattern that's going to get worse and i see people that i notice that they don't like things being bad <laughs> it's funny that people don't like things being bad but yet they're willing to yield themselves to do bad things I was like, I don't, I don't like how bad things are in this world. But you know that you're uh, more likely influenced to do things that will continue that bad activity. But the thing is, we need to understand still, because you, because you still want to do what's negative about a creation that doesn't belong to you, technically, doesn't make you supposed to continually doing it. You know, um, the thing is, it means that you need to start um, doing what the creator says if you want things good in your life. You know what I'm saying? And and if see, look, uh, you know, like uh, like if you did your research about uh, the uh, past of this country, about George Washington, um, the first president. Of the United States, uh, he did a speech in New York, New York, where the uh, Wall Street is, building is established. He, he made a proclaim about God, you know what I'm saying, that you need to research about that if we uh, do not follow the rules of God, uh, Every whatever is blessed will become a curse. Something like this. I'm paraphrasing. Go find out what George Washington said in New York. You know what I'm saying? That the establishment of the financial system of the United States of America. And he made a proclamation. Now, based upon him, now here's the thing that you know people said, well, oh, we're not living in a, a Christian or Judeo-Christian nation. Well, here's well, here's what you gotta understand: that God listens to the word the, or the establishment that has been made by George Washington. He's he's you know he's he's that's how he's gonna live by. It. Now, those that willing to utilize this financial system of the United States to try to use to get power and control against um, the people concerning corruption of how they mistreat this money and mistreat people and if they're going to follow God's you know direction uh in the God of Israel direction um they going to have to supposed to forgive death yes in 7 years you you're supposed to forgive death according to the covenant uh, God, you know, saying concerning the Jewish people, they know about the, you know, in seven years you forgive that. But of course, this country, it doesn't want to forgive that. It wants to enslave people in debt to do a evil thing to take, of course, power and control from people to enslave them, you know, in the new world order. Um, and that's what they're pretty much planning on trying to do. And the thing is, um, the thing is, uh, the creator is not going to let you do that. You know, the, uh, you should learn from Nimrod. Yeah. Um, creator is not going to allow you to uh, put together such thing. Well, he's, gonna, he's not going to allow you from the get-go concerning his the plan that's going to be established very soon, he's not going to allow you to do that. But after that plan, you can do what the heck you want to do. But the thing is, um, people, creation, uh, humanity has to realize that they don't really technically own anything. Only really owns this whole world is the one who created it. And 
uh, that's how it works. And because it's just people just operating in this ego arrogance and thinking that they own everything. They can use things any way they want to use it and use it and bruise it. But Jesus is really, you know, uh, testing and seeing what you are doing concerning if you, uh, everything's is a test, you know. All this, what we're, the, what's going on in this world is a test. That God wants to see what people, you know, these people are going to do with what they give them. If they're going to uh, empower people or try to enslave people. It's that simple. I did a message on that. Either you about creating a system to empower people or to enslave them. And the thing is, we need to understand that that's the test. And majority, uh, unfortunately, in America, in the world are failing that test big time. Um, but the thing is, this test is going to be over pretty soon. Pretty much, that really, that blood moon is really about that. That the test is going to be over, and God is going to confront those who fail the test, and He's going to bless those that pass the test. That's God going to only like just like reaping the soul. He's going to. Um, reward those the reward that they if you sow in corruption you're going to get a corrupted reward you sow in spirit you get a spiritual reward that's yeah. how it works so understand that that but the creator rules rules and right, right. we the creation really don't really got any rules but they make hey. up rules and give me they, this. They, you know, give me but this. this is how it works but that's the topic of the message right, I want you to understand you know the creator rules and make sense of what's going on in the world and put yourself in a proper better position to get good at what this make, do, make the better decisions on what is given to you this in your life. Alright, that's the message. God be glory. Amen.